All right, you guys, uh, this Algebra 2 lesson is actually Algebra 1. Uh, sometimes I skip this lesson, uh, but uh, here it is anyways. And algebra 2, uh, Section 3.1, Solve Linear Systems by Graphing, and then I pass out some graph paper. So solve the systems by graphing, okay? So we got these two equations right here, so we're going to graph them. I'm going to go ahead and, and uh, let's see, take that top equation, and I'm going to add 5x to both sides. Okay, here's the mx plus b form. This is b, so I'm going to go ahead and do that point right there. All right, and then, uh, and then I'm going to go ahead and use this slope up 5 over 1 to get another point right there, and then connect those guys up. There's that top line right there. Do the same thing with the blue one. Go, I'm going to have to extend it up to 10, and the slope is negative 5, so down 5 to the right one. Okay, there we go. And where they intersect is your solution right there. So these guys are intersecting at 1, 5 right there. All right, so that's the answer. Okay, easy enough. Okay, let's do that with this one right here. Okay, here I'm going to go ahead and uh, for the top equation, I've made them red and blue. So for the red equation, I'm going to go ahead and do the intercept method on this one, you guys. Let x be 0, cover up that, pretend like that's not there. Negative y equals 5, so y would be negative 5. So there's uh, 0, negative 5. And then let y be 0, x would equal 5. So there's 5, 0. Connect them up. Okay, do the same thing for this blue guy. Do the zeros. When x equals 0, y equals 3. And when y equals 0, x equals 1. Connect them up. And then we get to estimate where those guys intersect. And I get them at uh, 2, negative 3. Okay, your book's going to say use algebra to check and verify. So what they want you to do on that, and I have examples. They want you to plug in 2 right there for x and negative 3 right there. So 2 minus a negative 3 is 2 plus 3 is 5. And then they want you to plug in 2 for x right there, 3 times 2. Uh, plus, uh, which is 6, plus a negative 3. 6 plus negative 3 equals 3, so it, sa it satisfies them both, okay? So here's what I mean. Tell whether the ordered pair is a solution to the system of equations. So substitute that in. So I'm going to substitute in uh, x equals 3 and y equals 2 into each equation. And there it is right there. And I get 3 plus 4 equals 7. That checks out. 9 minus 4 equals 5. I plugged in x equals 3, y equals 2. x equals 3, y equals 2. That's what this says right here. Here's x equals 3, y equals 2. x equals 3, y equals 2 into these equations right here. Okay, so they check out. So it's a yes on that one right there. Okay, do the same thing with this one right here. Okay, substitute uh, those in there, and I find out, no, I found out in the top equation, so I didn't care about the next one. Didn't satisfy the top equation, so it doesn't matter. It means it's not a solution to both equations. Okay, so a number of solutions to a linear system. Okay, if the two lines intersect, and they, they intersect in a point, and they're called consistent and independent. Okay, you'll probably see this once in this chapter. Here it is, and then you won't see this anymore. Secret. Okay. So if the two lines uh, uh, are the same line, if they lie right on top of each other, then they're called consistent and dependent. Okay, so if you graph one line, then you graph another one, and it ends up being the same line, then they're called consistent and independent. If the two lines don't intersect, and they're parallel to each other, where they don't intersect, they're called inconsistent. Okay, so solve the system here, then classify them as consistent and independent, which means they intersect. Consistent and dependent, which means they're the same line, or inconsistent, which means they're parallel. Okay, here's number one. This is number one from before. Okay, so they intersected at 1, uh, 5, so they're called consistent and independent. Okay, when I graph these guys right here, uh, there's that one right there, and then I did the zeros for the bottom one right there, and it ends up going being the same line. So those are consistent and independent, and there's infinitely many solutions. Infinitely many solutions because this point is a solution to both equations. This point is, this point is, this point is, this point is. Just don't say all real numbers because this point isn't over here. So don't say all real numbers. It's infinitely many solutions going down this line, but it's definitely not all real numbers and consistent and dependent. Let's see, do I have anything else for you? Ta-da, I do. Okay. Okay, when I graph these guys, these guys are going to be parallel. Watch this when they're parallel. So parallel lines are inconsistent, no solutions. All right, and if you're in my Algebra 2 class, that would be your homework right there. Take care, you guys.